Hi, it's Peggy at Headshots by Peggy. So on this vlog, I have had tons and tons of great guests and great information for you. So today I wanna to talk about something that we haven't covered a lot, but I think it's really important for you to think about. Um, we've talked a lot about marketing, we've talked a lot about sending postcards and make, building relationships with casting directors and you know all those different things. But the one thing that hasn't been covered is just physically being seen. Um, there's tons of ways that you can do this. You can join a Facebook group. Um, there's tons of great filmmakers and acting groups that meet up monthly and they have screenings and they do different things. Um, the reason this is important to actually get out in your community and be seen is because you never know um, what director is going to be there, what writer is going to be there, what casting director is going to be there, what other actor is going to be there. And you need to remember that this, this, this community is built on community. I mean, it's never one actor that just makes it big. There's a team of people that are making that happen. Yes, you need amazing headshots. Yes, you need great stuff for your reel. Yes, you need all these things, but you also need somebody that's willing to help and that is the key. So a lot of times I think that people shy away from networking because they feel like it's a give me, give me. And I want you to remember um, on the episode that we had with the Casting About guys, they said, listen, think of it as what can I do for, for you? Every relationship should be started on what can I do for you? It's the same with this but it doesn't have to be anything big. It's not something that you have to commit to hours and hours of you know, tre you know, treacherous work or anything, but just be there, be a presence, go and make friends and be friendly. Be willing to help somebody you know, move a chair and just, just, just be that person that's there to help because that says this person is a cool person and it sends a message and an energy out that people want to be around you. And then all of a sudden you're being introduced to, you know, this, this, this person or that person. And all of a sudden you get an audition for this and you, you know, think doors just start opening. And a lot of times it starts with going out. The first door that needs to be opened is your front door with you leaving and going out and networking. So, you know, Merrick is in the television academy. And if you happen to have enough credits to join the academy, I highly recommend do that because there's tons of amazing people. Um, so just get out there and start, you know, going to events, showing up. Another great way to get involved in network is say yes to people. When people are looking for somebody to help with the student film, be the person that's like, you know what, I'm not doing anything Saturday. I'll go do that even though it may not pay. Um, you may not think it's going to be that big of a, you know, experience or learning th thing for you, but you don't know who else is going to be there. You don't know who's going to see that film. So these are doors that are easy to open and just walk through and start being that person that, you know, says yes to some things. Now, I'm not advocating saying yes to everything. Believe me, no is a word that I've had to learn. And that was hard for me because I am one of those enabling kind of people that are like, yeah, I can help. Sure, I can do that. Sure, I can do that. Um, but there has to be a balance. You obviously need to take care of your own mental health and your own self, but not to the point where you cut yourself off and you never get involved with things. So go get involved, go do a student film, help your friend that's doing something, you know, um, go to a party, um, go to a barbecue, go to, you know, instead of always being like, oh, you know, you never know who's going to show up. You never know who you're going to meet and who that person knows. And, you know, so be the friendly person that, you know, people just want to hang out with and you would be surprised how many doors that opens. Another thing, um, Merrick said, he's like, tell him to get business cards. Okay, boomer. Shh, don't tell him I said that. But seriously, um, people don't use business cards that much anymore. But what I do recommend, um, I have business cards 
but I very rarely hand them out. But what I do is when somebody says, oh, do you have a business card? I say, oh man, I don't have any on me. Give me your phone, I'll put my contact in there. And then I text myself their number. And then the next day I text them and say, oh, it was so great meeting you. You know, I just saved your information in my phone. Boom, send. Now, if I gave them a business card with all the great intentions in the world, they probably would have thought they wanted to keep my business card. But you've gotten business cards. I know I get tons of people handing me business cards and a lot of them I gen genuinely want. But when I get home and I empty my camera bag and I have like 10 business cards in there, I don't remember who you are by your business card. So if you have a business card, put your picture on it so that we know who you are when we get home and we can go, oh yeah, I remember them. I wanted to you know, look up their thing or I wanted to contact them or I told them I'd send them a recipe or whatever weird thing it was, follow through. But that is a great tip. Um, instead of handing out business cards, put your information in their phone, text, text yourself so that you have their phone number and then the next day when things aren't busy, shoot them, it was so great to meet you. The other thing, if somebody doesn't want to give you their phone, which that could be the case. Um, hey, are you on Instagram? Are you on Facebook? What, you know, add each other. But don't just add each other. Um, the next day, follow through with a thank you. It was so great to meet you. And then open that conversation up. Um, I know that sometimes if I add someone to Instagram, they may not immediately add me back. And then the next day I'm like, shoot, what was their name? So I'll take a screenshot, like I'll add them and take a screenshot so that I can look them up and send them a message and be like, hey, it was so, so great at the, you know, blah, 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 whatever, you know, jog their memory who you are. Um, those are, those are things that are important because the thing is, the more people see your face, the more recognizable you are, the more attractive and the more you, you know, they want to be around you. Now I'm not advocating stalking, I'm not advocating being weird, but I'm just saying if you meet somebody at, at a friend's uh, party or at a screening or at an awards show, um, they met you once. And then the next day when you pop up and say hi, they've seen you twice. And then if they start following you on social media, they're like, oh, I remember that person, they're really cool. Oh, let me check out their IMDb. Oh, wow, they actually have some really cool credits. Oh, I wonder what else they can do. See, and that's, you know, it may not happen overnight, it may take weeks, but that's how you develop and network. Um, it's, it's not a magic pill. You have to, you know, be a nice person and get out there and, and work at this. But every one of you have the ability to. I know if you're watching my vlogs and you listen to all my craziness, you must be awesome. So do that, you know, take a step out of your front door and join a, a networking group that's, you know, a, an acting group or a cinematic group or a film group or whatever it may be that has meetups and, you know, actually go out. And I know Merrick and I go to tons of events. We're always here, we're always there. Um, and sometimes we get tired and we're like, oh, I just wanna sit at home. But every time we feel like that and we make ourselves go, we either meet a really good friend or someone in the industry that, you know, either we can hire or they can hire us. It's always a good thing. I've never gone out and came home and went, we should have just stayed home. Okay, that's not true. One time that happened, but we're not gonna talk about that. So, but most of the time it is, it's good. And it's just good to get your head out of, you know, oh man, and I, me, 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 and just go out and smile and meet a new friend and, you know, network. So I said a ton of words just to say, networking is important to actors. And there's tons of ways to do that and build relationships. So comment in this, make a commitment. This is, uh, it's still January, so we can still do the New Year's resolution thing, right? So I want everybody to make a commitment. I don't do resolutions. I like make commitments to myself all year round and try to grow all the time, but call it whatever you want, but make a challenge to yourself and make comment it to me 
in this comment what event you're gonna start going to. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna join a group on Facebook? Are you going to um, find, a, you know, go to awards? Are you gonna go to screenings? Um, screenings are great. Um, you know, when you do, here's something else, and I know I'm going on and on, um, but if you do student films or things like that, they always have screenings and you know, you would be surprised some of these amazing people that show up at screenings that are friends or relatives or whatever of the, you know, camera person that you didn't even meet and you're like, oh my God, how are, <laughs> and they're here watching my screening. So, you know, do stuff like that. Go to the screening, get on the red carpet, post it, take pictures with people and post, you know, hashtag them or, you know, tag them in your Instagram pictures and just let them know, hey, remember we met, like not in a creepy way, just kind of casually like tagging them and making nice comments. And that's a cool way to just constantly be, you know, a reminder of, hey, I'm here, I'm available without looking needy and, oh my God, I can't get work, you have to hire me. Don't do that. Go out positive and when you're busy and you're out, you know, looking like you're doing stuff, it doesn't look needy. So remember, don't stalk, but be persistent and get out there and put your smile on and have fun, network, and share all of your success stories and share um, what you're going to, uh, what, what event you're gonna go to. In fact, make sure you comment what event you're going to because maybe I wanna join you. So let us know and share this video all over the place. And most importantly, have an amazing week. I'll see you next week.